actual car hitting, and I don't remember anything. I've seen a lot of traumatic brain injuries in motor vehicle accidents, and especially with kids. Um, with that severe impact, it's not a high chance of survival. As I hung up the phone, I received another call from someone else. So when you start getting back-to-back -back calls for one specific accident, you know it's pretty serious. People were standing around the car, there was a lot of traffic, and they were all shouting for me to come help the, help the child. I first started playing like mini cricket at my farm when I was like four, but I actually started to play like hardball when I was, when I got into grade three, four. So from what I could understand and from what I could make of the scene, basically the one car drove into the intersection and was hit by a truck side on t boned The female passenger of the vehicle was trapped inside the vehicle and then um, Nicholas was in the seat uh, unconscious. So I noticed a laceration on his forehead and also I could see where it hit the window. Um, he was unconscious and he started having a seizure, which I know with a head injury, especially a traumatic injury, if someone has a seizure, it's very, very serious. It's normally a brain injury. So before my accident, I played like 10, 12 hours a week. Now I play about six. So I am better than I used to be, but I, I, I've got into a, like a, a more understanding and more love of the game. It was unbelievable to actually see what the recovery he's made and how amazingly he's progressed from the accident and to now. It's, it's unbelievable. I think the very important role that it played was the early advanced life support treatment that was given to him. I think without that, it doesn't matter how good the ICU is, how good the therapy is afterwards, but the road to recovery would be much harder and much more difficult in the long run if that initial treatment wasn't given because he was so severe on scene. Uh, it's actually going really well. I did really well in my exams. I got like 70% to like 85% in all my subjects. So. I saw him I don't know like the exact date, but it was like maybe a few months after my accident. I guess just heartwarming. Yeah, he's a friend. So it's never easy when you do a scene with kids and especially, you know, a lot of the times you don't, once you've dropped them off at hospital, you don't actually follow up and it was almost very impossible to follow up and actually know what's going on. They reached out to me throughout the whole process and updating me with what's going on, sending me videos, sending me photos um, of him in ICU and the operations. And I think it really created a bond between the two of us and which I'm really grateful for.